three cups of tea. We are the children of Corfi. We live in a village in the mountains of Pakistan. We grow and gather the food we eat. Our mothers weave and sew the clothes we wear. We study in the school we help to build. We use all the resources that the mountain gives us. Before our school was built, we studied outside. Sticks would be our pencils and the ground would be our paper. That was before a stranger stumbled into our village. He was poor in spirit, hungry, sick, and cold. We gave him our best care. We gave him tea, food, and a bed near the fire. He told us that his name was Greg Mortensen. He worked as a nurse in the USA. Greg had come all the way from the U.S. to climb the mountains, but he had lost his way. When he grew stronger, we helped heal our sick. To, to us, he was Dr. Greg. Sometimes he would sit outside and help us with our lessons. He knew that our teacher would just, come, just came three days a week, but that we still studied every day. When Dr. Greg was well enough, he asked our wisest man, Ali, what he could do to repay our village for our kindness. Ali said, listen to the wind. Dr. Greg listened, and he heard our chant as we learned our numbers. Dr. Greg understood that we needed a skull, and he promised to come back to Corfu to help us build one. That day, he, we sadly watched him walk away into the mountains. About one year later, Dr. Greg re returned to our village. We all ran down to meet him. He had brought the supplies for our new school, cement, lumber, tools, and he had them all waiting in the nearest town, Sakura. But how could we get those supplies to our village? Everyone in our village worked together to build a suspension bridge for our mountain, to, to the mountain on the other side of the river. Many months later, Dr. Gred returned. He and the men in our village carried two supplies across our new bridge and up to the pot, up to the pile of stone we had been cutting to build our school. Finally, the men attached to the roof. Dr. Greg hammered in the last nail. Our school was finished. It was time to celebrate. Our religious teacher, Sher Tahi, our wisest man, Hag Ali, our teacher, Hussein, Dr. Greg, who kept his promise, and all the craftsmen, workmen, porters, grown-ups of Corfi, children of Corfi, even our animals, we all marched together up to our new school. Sheer Taki blessed the building. We ran into our new school with our teacher, Houston, who would now come to teach us every day. We are the children of Corfi. We live in a village in the mountains of Pakistan. We write in Urdu and in English. We study math and reading. We are learning in the school we help to build. We are the children of Corfi. Can you hear our voices? Listen to the wind.